Hey, Bami, where is your son logo? Say forget. Wonders, wonders of the millennium. And brand you, you expect to expect me to propose to that sister? Never. That will never happen. Come and share it. I'm out of here. You see, many Christians don't know how the devil works, especially in this end time. The Bible says, he goes about roaring like a lion. transforms himself into an angel of light to deceive. So, he has the two techniques. But the one that has given him success most is subtlety. what it, de it deploys mostly in our time. So, if the devil wants to take you on a long journey, he will first come to you as a friend. He will not tell you that he's taking you on a long journey. He will just ask you to come and say something outside your house. And from outside, it will take you to the next street and on and on. The devil is wicked. But we have to be awakened spiritually. I remember what happened to a young man in a university that afternoon. He was preparing for his last exam on campus. Come in, please. Come in. I did my guy. Oh, Fred. It's you. Hope there's no problem. <sighs> no problem. Are you busy? Yes, I'm busy. I'm trying to read off my exam. Come on, no, no. Can't you spare me just 10 minutes? 10 minutes? What for? <laughs> I did something very important. You won't believe it. I was in the other hostel when Shola lied against you. He said you were the one that broke Shade's bucket beside the way the other day. I tried to defend you, but they wouldn't listen to me. Then I said I must come to call you to clarify yourself. You said to Shola, but the most important thing now is that you just let us go and clarify yourself right now because this is a defamation of character. This, this, this can tarnish your image on this campus. So we need to clarify the matter right now. All right, let's go. Adi, where are you going in this dress? Is it not the prison step we are going to? Come on, God. Would you, your crush is also dead. Come on, look good now. All right, let me change. That's my guy. It's wrong. This is a defamation of character. You can tarnish your image. You can tarnish your image. I, I don't understand. I, just come and clear, no, clarify no, yourself. No. Come and clarify yourself, man. Shola! Yes. Shola. 
Shola! Ogbeni Shola! Ajay is here. Can you say what you said the other time again? You understand that this thing was just a joke. It was a joke. Joke? But that's an expensive joke. Fred, I'm going back to the hotel. Adi, Adi, calm down. Calm down now. Chill. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was joking. Sorry. But let's go to Jasper's hotel now. To do what? I'm not serious. But you knew what I was doing before you came to call me. And now you are talking about Jasper's hostel again. I beg, come out. No problem, if it's not your money, I want to go and collect. Money? Yes. Which money? The money I'm owing you. You see, Jasper is also owing me money. And he asked me to come for it today. So I will go there, get my money, pay you your money, and you go back to your hostel to read. As simple as that. And uh, are you sure Jasper will be home by now? Ah, uh, uh, you know Jasper now. If he's not at home, he'll be within the neighborhood. And moreover, if I don't get the money today, I will never get it again. All right, let's go. But you know I have um, an exam to read for tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. So please, let's just rush up things. It won't take time. No problem, let's go. That's my guy. Jasper! Ah, uh -uh. Jasper! Ah, uh, meet this guy. Meet this guy now. Did I see this guy right there? Didn't I tell you? Eh? Guy, chill now. Uh, let me call him. Where you doing now? Oh, okay, okay. I told you, he's within the new world. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. The next thing on the agenda now is we are invite one of the finest comedians. They are putting me through today. Calm down. Chill, eh? He will come and give us the money. Jasper, with the money. See, I didn't follow me for his money. Uh -huh. Because of our time, let me go straight to the point. Uh, one day, a wife sent a WhatsApp chat to her husband. I just hope you hurry up with this event. I can't okay. wait anymore. I can't wait. Unless there's only 13 minutes to arrive. Your girlfriend is under a joke. She's in the cell Fear don't catch the husband. The husband replied, Who is Sandra? Who is Sandra? The wife can't answer her. He said, Nobody. I just wanted you to respond to my chat. <laughs> so I will be sure you saw my chat. <laughs> then the husband replied, He said, Ah. But I'm with Sandra. <laughs> and I thought you passed by and saw me. Nadia, did you get constant? I said, What? <laughs> Where are you? The old man comes and says, I'm at a bar. Beside the Eat Correct Bread Bakery. <laughs> oh, the, the wife won't tell him, say, If you want me to be the L out of Sandra's head, wait for me, I'll be here. You know, women now. If they don't hear say their husband deal with another woman, they can do, they can do and undo. Now so she carry car, pa, with speed of light. Before one second, she don't reach there, pa. He said, hello, where are you? Where are you? I'm already at the bakery looking for both of you. Oh, the husband said, I'm at work. He said, now that you are at the bakery, buy the bread you need and go home. <laughs> So now to show, say who get power pass. She na man or na woman. 
na man or na woman. Na so, na so. So, I will take it. Yes, sir. Your ratu to master I don't tend to give up for years. We will continue rock on the show. Ah, uh, up next, uh, now to welcome the celebrant for today. Yes, put your hands together as I welcome uh, my own tummy, uh, the delectable, the impeccable, the charming and energetic uh, celebrant for today. Put your hands together as you come on back. Yes. Before they got to the hostel, he was tired, heavy on the food he had and the drink, and at the same time, very angry with himself to cut the long story short. Ade could not read for his exam and he failed. Ah. He had an automatic S right here. Brethren, this is exactly how the devil operates. Fred is the devil here. I don't know how far the devil has subtly taken you, but you can be awakened spiritually today and return. Amen. Pray and tell God, I refuse to give my time to the devil. I refuse to waste my time. Lord, open my eyes and help me to be vigilant. My life, my spiritual situation is just like the life of a day we just watched. <laughs> the devil has taken me so far away. <laughs> I have wasted my years on card balls. <sighs> Bye, Please. Whatever happens, <laughs> let me know. We are friends and we are friends just for times like this. You see, no matter how far we've gone in life, God can still restore us. You know, just like the prodigal son, after leaving his father, he came back. Guess what? If his father accepted him, and I'm sure he's able to also accept you if you confess and come back to him. You cannot understand. You cannot understand. I've gone too far. I mean, too far. <sighs> Bayo. How can a Christian brother like you be watching this kind of comedy skits? <laughs> no, he's wrong now. Calm down. You see, these people also need the gospel. Really? I mean, if the Lord told you to go and preach to these people, will you disobey? At least we see all these ladies all around on campus and wearing all these things. Mm. And do you close your eyes while walking on campus? Bio, you just ask too many questions just to defend your atrocities. Just look at yourself. 
Eh? Now, let me ask you a question. Did God send you to these ladies you are watching on your phone? With the way they dress seductively, exposing their cleavages, and then you sit down here, you enjoy it. When you see these ladies on campus walking, do you stand to watch them? You see, sometimes we just sit down and it's invite the devil to come and tempt us, not the devil tempting us. Now, let me ask you one very honest question, and I hope you answer. World question, world question. Can you confidently say to yourself that the Holy Spirit are proof of this that you are watching? Hmm? No, answer me now. I remember that I didn't answer that question that day. I continue watching the comedy skits. <laughs> and you know what? YouTube continue to recommend more terrible skits for me. And I can't just refrain myself from watching them. <laughs> I eventually graduated into watching pornography on the internet. <laughs> At a point in time, I began to masturbate. Oh my god. While watching this these pornographies. Oh my god. 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 Yeah, I'm here to borrow your GNS Facebook. You're having a presentation tomorrow, you know. So I should have come in the evening though, but you know, we went to the fellowship for a meeting. Oh, oh, sorry I didn't come for the meeting. I was busy at home. And funny enough, um, the trip tomorrow was GNS Facebook. Oh, okay. Is it the first part or second part? Just bring the GNS Facebook. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Sister Dami, Sister Dami, Sister Dami, I have to go, Sister Dami, Sister Dami. Sister Dami? Sister Dami in evangelism group? Oh. And then, what, what happened after? I could not resist her that night. That night, we had our first sexual encounter. <laughs> Sexual encounter. You had sex? <laughs> Few weeks later, we had another one. Oh. Uh, just a month later, we had another one. Which led into pregnancy and we aborted it. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh. God. Oh God. Oh, oh God. oh God, you've gone oh, too far now. Oh God. You, you both went too far. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Last semester, you remember when she became very sick and the sister coordinator organized a prayer for her. And I remember she selected some prayer unit member to pray for her. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are going to pray for her. That every forces of darkness that wants to destroy Sister Dami, that the Lord will deal with them with no mercy. Prayer. Father, in the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, will... huh. So it, it was abortion. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. 
I remember, I remember that. I remember the GC went with some of the escorts to pray for her for a quick recovery. And I remember I went later on to also check on her. <sighs> ah, God. This is so sad. And, and then, <sighs> what did you tell? We both agreed that we won't tell anyone. <laughs> Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Oh. You keep warning me. You keep warning me, but I keep, I keep giving excuses for my, for my stupidity. Ah, oh. you know. It eventually affected my, my my academic performance. I went down to, to third class. Is this how I will wait my four, four years on campus? Ah. Lord, Bro Andrew, I need help. I need help. Ah. I'm done for. I need help. Oh. It is well. <laughs> See, uh, from tomorrow, we shall embark on a three day fasting and prayer. Right? <laughs> uh, we are going to go before the Lord and ask for restoration. <laughs> but before then, I think we should approach God now. Yes. With a very yes. humble heart and contrite spirit. Lord, I have and begin mercy. to ask for His mercy. Lord, Papa, have your mercy. What you need right now is God's mercy. Lord, have mercy. Only His mercy that can take you from this situation you find yourself. Lord, I'm sorry. It's God's mercy right now that we see. I'm sorry, Lord. Have mercy. From this pit that you have put yourself. Lord, I'm just Let's mercy. ask God for His mercy. Lord, please show us. Ah. Lord, Please be merciful. Lord, to have your son. mercy on me. Lord, be merciful to your son. Lord, have oh, mercy. mercy. Lord, mercy. I've gone far away from you, Lord. The sweet things of this world has led me to walk away. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing out there now, I realize. But I still cannot do it on my own Except you help me, Lord I cannot do it And now I'm coming back home mm, yeah. I'm coming back home Yeah I'm coming back to you, Lord I've gone far away I'm coming back home I'm coming, coming back, back to you, Lord. I've gone far away. I'm, I'm coming, coming back, back home. home. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, coming back, back to you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Gone far away. I'm coming back to you, Lord. Oh. <sighs> Romans 8:11. The Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh yes. but after the spirit. Yes, sir. We are going to ask for the spirit of the Jesus. living God that the spirit of the Jesus. Lord will quicken our mortal Jesus. bodies. No longer Quick shall we walk after the flesh. We move by the spirit. In the name of Jesus. We by the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray for in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We walk by the spirit. We walk by the spirit. We walk by the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we walk by your spirit. We walk by your spirit. We walk by the spirit. And no of flesh taking over us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fill us. In the name of Jesus, fill us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, take charge. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now we are going to raise our voice again and pray. Excuse me, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Yes, provide. You know, before we continue, okay. 
Since yesterday, I've been thinking about Sister Dami. Oh, Sister Dami. What about that? Why are you thinking about her? I mean, how she will also be restored. Ah. Um, you know, let's continue to pray. And then we'll also include her in our prayers. Okay, okay, okay. We are going to pray that just as we have encountered the Lord, yes. she will also encounter the Lord. In the name of, in Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name that of the Jesus. Lord will visit us. Specially. Let that be a special in the visitation. Name of Jesus. A divine visitation. In the name that of Jesus. That you visit Sister Dami. We encounter her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be, let an, there be an encounter. Review yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be an encounter. Holy Spirit, a divine yourself. encounter. In the name in of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus in Let that Jesus be an they will pray. Amen. We are going to pray that the Lord will establish us family in it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We are established. In the name of Begin Jesus. Begin to pray that you are established. Lord, we are established. Say, I am established. I am established. In the, in I am the name of Jesus. I will no know. more shaking. No more going back. I am established. In the name of Jesus. I am in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the winds of this world is love to walk away. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing up there now, real life. I want you to act the least. Go to the sister's coordinator and confess to her. <laughs> Do you know what you are saying at all? I have this semester to go. This is the only semester I have left. And you expect me to waste my four years academic career in shame? No, 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 no. It's not possible now. Calm down. <sighs> Sister Dami, calm down. Do you want the devil to, to destroy your life? <sighs> Sister Dami, hear this. The Bible says, if we cover our sin, we will not prosper. And if ends join ends together, sinners will not go unpunished. It is better for us to face any consequences now than for God to expose us. I pray the Lord will give you the grace. Brother Bayo, get out. Please leave now. Ah! I can't tolerate this your sudden repentance. Leave! Um, so... What was your meeting with Sister Dami like? Hmm. What was it like? No results. Huh? It's alright. You've done your part, you've done well. And so we are going to present her before the Lord. See, let's pray. The Bible says, I will take away from us the heart of stone and replace yes. with the heart of flesh. Yes. So we are going to pray for her. That God, the Lord should remove every stony heart in from the name of Jesus. And replace with the heart in of In the name of Jesus. 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 That you replace this stony heart. Damn me! Tell me, don't go, don't go, you have to turn back. You have to turn back. This way is not good for you. You have to turn back, please. Turn back. Tell me, turn back. You cannot understand. This is the best shortcut I can pass to my destination. I can't pass that long road. It is too broad. People will be seeing my stay. Eh? This short road is the shortest place to my destination. Please don't, don't discourage me. Let me move. Ah. Ah. Damn me, damn me. Damn me, damn me, don't go. That place is dangerous. See, there is danger on that path. So you have to turn back and pass where it is right for you. You know what? Olakune Emmanuel, leave me alone. I don't know what is wrong with you guys. They stand on me. I can't just bear it. Leave me alone. No, no that... Tell me, there is danger ahead. Wait, tell me not...
Sister Danu, hear this. The Bible says, if we cover our sin, we will not prosper. And if ends join ends together, sinners will not go unpunished. It is better for us to face any consequences now than for God to expose us. I pray the Lord will give you the grace. God, mercy, Lord. <laughs> I have gone far away from you, Lord. The sweet things of this world has loved me to walk away. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, have mercy on me. There's nothing up there now in life. But I still cannot do it on my own. Except you help me, Lord. I cannot do it. And now I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back to you, Lord. I've come far away. for you to come over to my place now. I don't mind if Bro Andrew can come over with you and continue watching. Thank you so much. Gone far away. Gone far away. Back to you. Here we are. What's the problem? What the pixel is it? Bro, Bayo, Brandrew, I had an encounter with the Lord. Wow. And hmm, I've prayed about it and I believe God has forgiven me. Hmm. I'm very sure God has forgiven me. And I had the feelings to tell, to involve Sister Coordinator. Hmm. It would be okay if I don't tell you first before involving her. Uh, that's why I called you over. Well, I think that's a good step. And first of all, I want to thank God for His mercy on your life, Sister Dani. And um, I also want to appreciate you for this very bold step you've decided to take. Um, Robayo. I think you should also take this step. Yeah. Maybe you should also confess to um, the general coordinator. Ah. Yes, that way to be balanced. And what do you think will happen if we confess? Uh -oh. <laughs> well, well, let's pray that uh, the Lord will take control. Ah. God will take control. The embarrassment. Yeah. The insults. Maybe you should not just confess. Abby. Ah, I can't withstand it. Ah. No, now, my brother, my sister. Oh, wait, see. Let's not turn our back at this point. It's better to just face hey. the devil and hey. shame the devil once and for all by confessing publicly. I trust God in your life that you won't come back to your vomit and you won't Amen. repeat this again. Um, the Lord will uphold you Amen. and strengthen you and guide you. Um, I, I also will continue to be praying for you. Hmm? It is well. Shall we pray? Our Lord, our God, we thank you for... Ah! Brother! No, now, no, no, no. Why, why, why? For what reason? How can you allow the devil to use you like this? Ah, bro, by your, how can you be this careless? You see, when we ask you these brothers to grow up, you're not. When we ask you to grow up spiritually, you will not grow up. You see? You see what you... How can you do this? Ah. Uh, you see, your matter will be discussed at the S schools meeting tomorrow. And prepare yourself. 
whatsoever that is going to come out of this, prepare yourself. You are a disgrace to this fellowship. Come and leave this place. Oh. Oh. First, I want to appreciate your courage for opening book. Sincerely, it's not easy and I understand. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I, I would just, I just hope the GC will understand. I, I really hope you understand because left to me, since you already confessed and you already see the face of God, you should just allow a few escorts to know about it and that should be all. But my sister, let's just keep on praying. It is well. It is well, my sister. And, oh, sorry. It is well. Any other thing to discuss before we pray? Okay. <clears throat> um, in absence of no other matters, um, I have something to discuss with us. It's a serious matter which I want every one of us to make uh, a proper decision on what to do. It is very sad to announce to the house that um, our brother from welfare department, Rabayo and Sister Dami, the evangelism group, fornicated about three times. And the last one resulted to pregnancy, which they aborted. Uh, what? This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wonders shall never end. I don't understand how some brethren can be so carnal and careless like this. Brothers and sisters, I, I, I don't know what to do. What shall we do? What else shall we do? What else shall we do? They should be excommunicated from the fellowship. Ah, uh, uh, no now. Eve didn't even get to this level. She just this small and got sent out of the garden. Oh, oh. Need I remind you people of 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7? Mm -hmm. That says, out the old leaven, that it may be a new lump. Since yet truly are unleavened. Look, they have become a leaven among us. That's true. And they should be pushed down. Otherwise, the entire fellowship will become contaminated. <laughs> well, I have something slightly different. We may not excommunicate them from the fellowship, but we should call them out and announce what they did wrong. You should be suspended and mandated to be around for every church activities. Um, please, brethren, this will be too hard for them. And at this point, I really think we need to tread carefully. All right, um, any other suggestion different from the two on ground? Galatians 6 verse 1. Okay. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, in which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. What are you trying to say, sister? This is not uh, overtaken. What they did three times? They even committed murder. They killed an innocent baby. Mm -hmm. Look, let's excommunicate them straight away. I think we should tread carefully here. Eh? These people made a mistake and they came themselves to confess. Obviously, they are sober and they've realized their mistake. So I, I, I believe that discipline is for correction and not for destruction. These people are down. Must we kill them completely? Eh? Please, in the world military system, when a soldier is down, what others will do is to carry them and help them through process of restoration and not to keep them completely. Well, eh, let's find a way to restore our soldiers. The Bible says we are soldiers for Christ. Indeed. I will support what uh, yes, our drama coordinator said. Let's help them. You know what? I'm not surprised he's speaking like this. He's a friend of uh, Brobayo. That's why he's saying what he's saying. Uh -huh. If I were to be in his shoes, I'd also do the same thing. Uh, 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 okay, let's see, please, please. I, I don't want this to divide the house, okay? Um, if you are in support of um, calling them to the front of the fellowship and announce what they did and excommunicate them, can, can, can I see your hands up? Uh, okay, okay, um, that's fine. Um, if you want us to 
uh, announce to the fellowship, uh, but not as communicate them. Can I see your hands up? Oh, okay. Um, if you want just few escorts to see them, just tell them to step down from their uh, various departments and um, help them to, to, to restore through prayers, like the, 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 the GC, AGC, the SC, the ASC, and the PC, so that they can have uh, enough time to, to, to restore with all the things they've done. And um, not as communicate them. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I see your hands up? That's, that's oh, I see. No, 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 no. Now I can see. It is obvious that Brobayo and Stadami has bribed some of us here. No, no, it is obvious. Now it's, it, it looks like some of us want to do the same thing. Ah, now I understand. Because if this is not true, you will not accept this easy way and cheap way to, 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 just, to just give them punishment like that. No. You know, the Bible says that anyone who sins should be rebuked publicly so that others may fear publicly. No, no, I will not take this. Uh, um, brothers and sisters, as the power can find in me, I stand to say this. Ayeba, excommunicate them! Oh. Exactly! From this fellowship. Yes. Uh, and though, well, we, 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 can, we can decide to send um, some fellowship members to rally around, around them, like um, Assistant GC, mm. the SC, mm. Assistant SC, and the PC, to mm. so just help them. But I can tell you, they are no longer the member of this fellowship. The GC has spoken. This is not right. This is not just good. Can you imagine? Let us fast and pray concerning this matter. Don't let us take hasty decisions. No, no. I have spoken. Okay? Please, can we share the grace, please? We, we can we share, share the grace? grace, grace, grace please. Can we share the grace? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I've gone far away. I'm coming back home. Yeah. I'm coming back to you, Lord. And I told you, it's to... Take it easy on her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> um, people of God, open your Bible to 1 Corinthians 5. We'll take the reading from 11 to 13. I want everyone to open their Bible as I read. <clears throat> But now, I have written to you not to keep any complaint with anyone named a brother who is sexual immoral, conversious, idolater, a drunkard, an extortioner. Not to even eat with such a person. Verse 12. Are you with me? Yes, God bless you. For what have I to do with judging those who are outside? Do you not judge those who are inside? Verse 13, which is the last verse. But those who are outside God judge. Therefore, Put away from yourselves, evil person. Put away from yourself, evil person. <clears throat> um, brethren, with sorrowful and heavy heart, I call Sister Dami and Brother Bayo. Please, step forward. Please make it snappy. <clears throat> this brother and this sister, please face, 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 face the congregation. Please face them. This brother and this sister committed fornication three times. And the last one resorted to pregnancy and they aborted it. Yes. 
Oh, God, have mercy. Uh, although, although um, they they came around and no, they did the confession. But nevertheless, we will not watch them like that. Uh-huh. Therefore, <clears throat> they are hereby excommunicated from this fellowship today. Now listen to me, everybody. No one, I repeat, no one should be seen around them or with them except those who were assigned to do that. Until we see the need for from the executive to reinstate them, they remain as complicated. Please leave the fellowship. Leave the fellowship, please. People of God, please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. People of God, God will not have such among us. Can we pray for mercy? Oh Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for mercy, Lord? Brethren, it's so sad that um, such a thing happened in this fellowship. Damn it! Is everything all right? Lord, please, help Sister Dami. Please, let's pray for her. Let's pray that the Lord will touch her. Now, let's pray that the Lord should heal her. Hello, good morning, Sister Damien. How are you doing? Oh, hope you slept well today. Oh, I'm fine, though. I think they're sleeping medicine in the drugs the doctor prescribed for me. I slept peacefully. Thank God. So, what's going on in your mind about what happened? I can't even explain. My mind has gone blank since yesterday. I feel like I'm watching a movie. I feel like someone should just tell me this is not real. Well, but Sister Dami, it is real. And one thing that will make you recover quickly is by accepting the reality. Reality? Um, what do you mean? See, I mean by taking responsibility. Now, let me break it down. You need to accept that if what happened between you and my friend did not happen, I mean, there won't be any need um, for punishment or whether rightly done or wrongly done. Do you understand? You see, once both of you accept that what happened is your fault, you know that there won't be need for you holding grudges against anyone, whether the GC or any of the fellowship member. Yeah, well, I know that you were not at the ESCO's meeting where the GC took that decision. But I'm very sure that sooner or later, some hypocritical members will come back to you and then they will download everything that was said. Do you think it is that easy to forget and forgive everything? You see, Sister Danny, if you can admit from your heart that it was your fault, then trust me, the rest will be easy. Please, Sister Danny, anyone who puts people in their hearts is just putting himself or herself into bondage unknowingly. The person who you are putting in your heart will not even know. See, they will be free gallivanting around and enjoying themselves while you are busy hurting yourself in bitterness every day. <laughs> and you know, this is dangerous for your health. Ah, these are very certain words for me at this point. So it's as if you saw everything going on in my heart. The Lord will help me to do what you said though. Thank you. You are indeed a friend. You stood by your friend and you are staying by me as well. Ah, God too will stay by you at your own time of need.
Hello? Ah. How are you? Ah, I'm fine, oh. I'm fine, thank you very much. I'm really grateful for you staying by me all through my trying period. Thank oh, you so much. Thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. It's okay, ma. I actually called to share good news, oh. Eh. Okay, oh. What's the good news all about? The escorts had a meeting yesterday night and they all agreed that you and Brobayo should be reinstated. So I was asked to inform you to be around on Sunday at the fellowship. So that is the good news you want to tell me? Well, I, I will not come home. I don't think I will come at all. But why? Honestly, God has used Brother Andrew for me. Since the second day I left the hospital. Hmm. If not because of Brother Andrew, hmm. I might not be able to forgive those that are involved. Hmm. Sister Lola, well, I would have loved to come, but I'm having an exam next week. And I coming to the church, and what if they call me out again? Ah, no. I don't think I'm mentally ready for that. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not ready for that. So I think I need to prepare mentally for my, for my exam that is coming up next week. Please, I'm sorry. I won't be able to come at all. I really appreciate your honest mind. I got you perfectly, and I will explain well to the GC also. He should understand. The Lord will grant us good success in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Lola. I'm grateful. All right, Thank ma, you very take much. Bye-bye. All right. Okay, take care of yourself. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were coming now. Huh? And when do I need to start collecting the appointment before seeing my friend? <laughs> I trust you guys. Um, let me make let me make coffee. Sit for down. You. you mean me? When I know my way to the fridge, I know how to make myself comfortable. With wow. Me. Let's just leave that. No, that's fine. Uh, you know, I was just uh, I have a very urgent discussion that I'm so to have with you very very pressing in my heart it's, it's been uh-huh. bothering me for days now even having sleepless night to fight but let's leave that aside okay. let's start with yours what's going on hmm. you see shortly after i was restored back to the fellowship then okay. and immediately after our exams yeah. final exams yeah i started having feelings towards the sister's coordinator Really? <laughs> Initially, I thought it was the remnant of the loss that brought me down that was racing its ugly head. Mm. So, I prayed and fasted. But you know what? The more I pray, the stronger it becomes. Mm. This is two years now, and I'm still battling with the same thing. Wow. And <laughs> I don't even know. Mm. I don't even know. But Anytime I agree to marry this sister, there is this peace that comes from within. Mm. Go on. What next? You see, the thought that there is no sister that was there in the fellowship the day we were excommunicated mm. will accept my proposal keeps hurting me. <sighs> and with that, I don't even have that boldness to even go to the sister and say anything. Go on now. Go on. Won't you see anything? You've just been saying, go on, go on, go on. You see, I've been... I was just thinking I was... I don't even know what to say. Honestly, let me be frank with you. Your case is very simple. Uh-huh. 
very, very simple compared to what I'm going through. <laughs> you don't even want to imagine the war within me that I've been battling with for some time now. Yeah, so what's that? It's been giving me sleepless nights. And what battle could be giving you sleepless nights, my brother? Marriage battles. <laughs> How? <Bye>. What? <laughs> At least you have a clean spiritual record. Oh. And you've been a wonderful brother to myself and everyone in the fellowship back then. Mm. You know? Even our juniors. I wonder what sister would you propose to and won't accept your proposal at once. <laughs> ah, Robayo. <laughs> you won't understand. You won't understand. What is it? Only or you to be careful, Bebu. What exactly is going on? What's happening? You know what? Let's leave that aside. Let's let's forget about that for now. Um, see, I will advise you to clear your doubts and face your fears. Okay? If indeed the Lord is leading you to the sister coordinator, then just take that bold step. Let her know. You know, the worst case is rejection. And what if? What if she has been convicted by God before you even see her? Hmm. Hmm? Who knows? So yours, you need to try. If you don't try, you, you won't know. Wow. Thank you so much, Bro Andrew. You've always been there for me at all times. You know now. I will walk towards that. It's not today. I no. will walk towards it's, that. It's not today. No. Uh, I will face my fear. Okay. And uh, when I'm ready, I'll keep you posted. Very good. So, very good. Thank good. you so much. Good. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and when last did you hear from Sister Dami? Oh, Sister Dami. Yes. I thought she would have called you. No, she's fine. We met last week, and okay. she said she has been trying your line, but wasn't going through. Okay. I think. She needs your advice and she has been calling. Do I gave her your hotline? And I thought she would have called you. Give her my hotline. But why why would you give her my hotline without informing me first? Why? <laughs> well, uh, you know, she actually got engaged last year during the NYC. Yeah, I know. I know. Because she came here with the brother. Oh. Yeah, she told me they were passing by and then she didn't mean you to just stop by to introduce the brother to me. So what what's happening? What's up with her? The relationship got broken last month. Ah. Hey, hey, yeah. Hmm. So what, what now happened to her? I don't even know. But since then she has been devastated. You know, she said she narrated what happened between her and myself to the brother. And the brother changed suddenly. The relationship became so, and they've just been trying to manage the relationship. It was last month when the brother declared that he's no more interested. Ah. Ah. It is well. Amen. It is well. The Lord will sort her out. Amen. Amen. Is that why she wants to see me? Yes, I think so. At least, God used you for her so much on campus then. She respected you so much and she used you, I esteem. So, uh, she really needs your advice at this time and your counsel and encouragement. I'll be expecting a call. I'll be expecting a call. It's all right. Yeah, so okay. I have to be on my way now. Ah, okay, good. You, you still don't want me to. Some other time. All right. Time.
Well done. Thank All you right. so much, my brother. Don't worry, I will be well. Sure, sure. Okay? sure. Just brace up. Go, 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 meet her. Sure. Go meet her. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bro. All right, sir. Take care. Yeah. Uh... There's nothing up there now, real life. But I still cannot do it on my own. Except you help me, Lord. I cannot do it. And now I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back to you, Lord. Hello? Yeah, bro, Bio. I'm in front of your house. No, no, please, just come out. Thank you. Ah, ah. ah bro. You said you are not coming in. Please, just come in, let's talk. <laughs> ah. How far now, my brother? I'm good. Oh, Baba, yo. Sorry, I had to call you outside. I'll, I'll soon be leaving, so I don't want to bother coming in. Right. But what's that agenda that brings you here again? After all, we met yesterday. You know, since you left my, um, since you left the office yesterday, I that battle I told you about it actually got to the climax. In fact, I. I was seriously troubled so much that I didn't eat anything since that yesterday till now. Abba. Kilo little bit. And you say you can't even eat. My brother. I lost my appetite too. I have a lot spotted in inside of me that it's been on and on for like six months now. You know? Well, it all started with a dream. Sister Dami. Sister Dami. Ah. Sister Dami. Ah. What are you doing here? What was that name? I was traveling with a friend of mine. Eh. And then his car broke down. Oh, so where is he now? Oh, he left with the towing car that he called. And he told me to find my way. You mean he left with the towing vehicle and he left you all alone mm -hmm. in this place? Yes. Ah, no, no, that's not good enough. So where are you going? I'm going to Oshogbo. Wow, Oshogbo. Yes. Ha, interesting. I'm also heading to Oshogbo now. Ah. Wow, join me, join me, join me, join me, join me. Hey, thank join you, me. Jesus. Ah, ah, God, this, ah. God is good. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm actually been looking for a company. So, as I started the car, it excites me to move. I woke up from the train. So, what has that got to do with the marriage battle you are fighting? I mean, don't you understand the simple meaning of that dream? It means you help someone that could have been stranded. Mm. It may not even be Sister Damien that you want to help. It may be someone else the Lord wants you to help. Mm. Well, I wish it was as simple as you just explained. But you know, the following week, I went to see my mentor. And um, I got uh, a different understanding entirely. My dear, yes. who is that? Uh, She's a, she's a sister. I mean, she's, uh, I mean, she's, uh, she's this sister that we, we attended the same university and um, the same campus fellowship. Tell me the truth about her. Do you 
Has the Lord been telling you something about um, your future wife? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, yes, but not really. Um, Which one should I hold? And what did she say? <laughs> Jesus. Ah! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> what happened, man? When the time comes, I will tell you. For now, just pray a little more. That God will reveal His will for you concerning marriage. Hmm. All right, man. Hmm. That was when I knew that the dream is not just about helping someone stranded. It's actually about marriage. Marriage? Yeah. <laughs> you mean marriage? That's not possible. No. I mean, how can God give an innocent, nice and wonderful Christian like you, such sister? <laughs> I mean, someone... I, your intimate friend, slept with thrice, I mean three times, and even aborted for once. Ah, that's a joke of the millennium. Well, my brother, you see, God has used several mediums to speak to me on this matter. <laughs> but you see, I've been hiding under the excuse of having engaged to a brother already. So I didn't bother to take any more. But you know, ever since you came to my office yesterday and you told me that she has ended the relationship, Kai, the battle became a big deal in my heart. Uh, I mean, that dream, that revelation now became crystal clear. Can't you just connect the dream to what is happening now? Uh, Jesus, why? But why, why? <laughs> Don't do this to my friend. This should not be the portion of, of this innocent brother. I mean... <sighs> but... Did he even tell your mentor what happened back then on campus to Sister Dami? No, 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 no. I could not uh, really explain much to my mentor. She just encouraged me and then prayed with me. But you see right now, I'm confused. Because now you, you say Sister Dami wants to see me for an advice. I don't know what to do. You know, you are our spiritual mentor. You are a mentor. And my prayer is that the Lord will speak to you. The Lord will teach you what to do at this time. Amen. Thank you very much for having me around, sir. Oh, uh, you're welcome. It's yes, good sir. to have you around. Yes, sir. You know, I was very much surprised when you called and you said you wanted to come pay me a visit. Um, yes, I actually have something to discuss with you and it's very... My bad. Let me get you something to... Oh, me... sir, don't worry about no, just that. just something cold and... I'm okay. Are you, are you sure? I'm okay, sir. Okay, okay. All right. So, so what's going on? What's happening? After we left school, I almost ran mad. <sighs> Why? What really happened? A voice kept haunting me, telling me I'm an hypocrite, that I need to confess my sin. Which, which sins? No, talk now, Sister Lola. Did, did you see... Did you see an high fornicated twice? Ha! Huh. Sister Lola? Did you see... Am I not hearing well? Sister Lola, how could you? This is this is this is the height of hypocrisy. Sister Lola! This happened and you kept quiet all the while? And you washed out the GC 
excommunicate Bobayo and, and Sister Dami from the fellowship. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm highly disappointed. This is, this is callousness. This is, this is wickedness. Ha! Huh? And you did not confide in anyone? But why? See, your confession right now is completely useless. It's useless. I know. But the Holy Spirit insisted I confess to you and Sister Dami. <sighs> Bro, Andrew, you would not know the pain I passed through, especially when they excommunicated Bobayo and Sister Dami in the fellowship. I lost my peace. I lost my sleep. I was even placed on sleeping pills in the hospital, all because I could not sleep. I was empty spiritually. I began to have terrible dreams. <laughs> what I went through before I summoned the courage to tell my pastor about it at home after graduation, I would never have wished for my enemy to pass through such. Sister Nola, but you should have at least confessed to someone very close. At least we were all together, we were very close. You could have walked up to me and just confess to me now. I attempted like five times, but... Sister Lola, what do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing now then? Bro Sam, for how long are we going to hide our sin? See, I think we need to go to the fellowship patron and confess because I'm dying, I'm dying! Sister Lola, see, if you are dying, we resurrect. Sister Lola, resurrect. What do you think you are doing? Eh? Confess what? Confess what? Do you realize the gravity of what we have done? Listen, I understand, but calm down, calm down. Hmm? Can you imagine it? How, what do you think people will say in the fellowship? That a whole me, the president of this fellowship, the general coordinator and sister called, fornicated. Come on now, understand. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to understand. In fact, at this point, I don't care any longer. I've lost my peace with God. I feel so empty. See, my stand with God is, is, is more important than any position. It's more important. Oh, really? Really? See, if your post is not important, mine is important. My post is important as the fellowship president in this city. Don't, don't, Tim. Do you want to ruin my reputation? Do you want to disgrace me publicly? Stella, if you're doing this stupid thing, or funny, I kill myself. I could have dressed you And if you think I'm bluffing, try me. Try me. Huh? So, our GC turned into a monster just because he wanted to cover up his sins? This is pathetic. Huh? I pity you, my sister. You went through all that. Bro, Andrew, that was not the last time I tried to confess. The last time was when he has communicated Bro Bayo and Sister Dami from the fellowship. I told him that we should see after the service. What is it again? Eh? It, same soul story? Bro Sam, don't you have conscience any longer? <laughs> if the Holy Spirit is not pricking your heart, then he is pricking mine. You have committed two brethren over the same sin you are guilty no, of. No, 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 no. It's not the same thing, okay? No, pregnancy and an abortion was involved in their one. It's not the same thing. Really? Tell me the difference. Tell me the difference. I am very sure and I'm certain that if I had gotten pregnant during our whole time of fornication, you would have told me to abort it just to hide from your shame. Look, see, let me tell you something. As I'm going right now, I'm going into the patron's office and I'm going to explain everything to him because I can't take it any longer. Shut up! No, no, that is just to reset your brain for you. No, oh, confession, right? The confession is driving you nuts. It's driving you crazy. Don't, don't even... Are you all right? Is there something wrong with you? No, remember I promised that this is going to happen. This is just a test run. A test run. If you ever... See, if you love your life, eh? Shut your mouth. If you don't, I will kill you. And there's nothing going to happen to you. Are you all right? Let that confession die in you. Get out of my room. Get out, come on, get out. Get out of this place. You mean, bro, Sam went this far just to shut your mouth? <sighs> This is unbelievable. I was afraid for my life. I mean, the threat was so real that I couldn't even go to our matron again. Oh. I later confessed to my pastor, and he was the one that encouraged me to confess to you and Sister Dami. 
And I know that is what the Holy Spirit also wants me to do. Mm. And so now, have you confessed to Sister Dami? Um, yes, I did. And she said she doesn't have anything against me, just that I should go and make my way right with God. And now you found your joy and, and your peace and fully recovered? Yes, sir, by God's grace. I mean, now that I have confessed to you and Sister Dami, I feel relieved mm. and I can continue with my life. This wow. Thank you, sir. Shall we pray? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm very sorry to just bust into your schedule without prior notification. That's all right. I, it's my pleasure having you around. Oh, let me get one of my workers to what we like to take. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Are you sure? No, I'm, I'm fine. All right, so... Actually, uh, I, I, I didn't plan staying long. Yes, I'm, I'm here because of a very important discussion because I want to confirm something I heard, whether it's true or not. Okay, uh, go ahead, please. Let me just go straight to the point. Is it true that you had sex with Sister Lola, the sister coordinator? And that you even went as far as slapping her just because you want to threaten her not to confess to anyone and not even to the patron? Um, well, yes. You know, um, we just had sex just twice, no, just two times. Oh my God. So, it is true. It is true, Rossam. And you have the infantry, the audacity to, to excommunicate Bro Bayo and Sister Dami from the fellowship. For an offense you knew you committed yourself. Will you let me talk? This is this is pure wickedness. Will you let me talk? This is wickedness. Are you here to, to, to insult me or abuse me? <sighs> Alright, I'm listening to you. It's not what you think, okay? Okay, fine. You know. Yes, it's true, okay? I, I, I covered it up so, so that we, we the, the fellowship will not be experiencing shame and disgrace. What do you think will happen if people hear the confession of I and and, and Stalala? The, the fellowship will be in disarray and some fellowship members will have to leave and other fellowship will mock us. The negative impact our confession would, would have caused in the fellowship would be so ill that we will not be able to withstand it. But at least you should have confided in some of the escorts. You have just confided in any of us. No, I, I, I did not trust anyone. You know, and you that I would have done that with, you are, you are close to Bravayo that I excommunicated. So, since then until now, have you made your confessions to anyone yet? <laughs> Confession. Uh, well, I no. I don't need any unscriptural confession again. Un unscriptural? Yes. How? You see, um, shortly after we finished, I, I mean before NYSC, I, I was able to, I, I came across a very sound preacher of the word. Uh, actually, it was online though, you know, it was online. And, and uh, you know, uh, he opened my eyes to see uh, a, a scriptural revelation. Jesus. Scriptural revelation. Oh. Like, I don't understand you. Okay, let, let, me, let, me, let me help you. Let me, let me enlighten you. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, you see, uh, uh, John says that, um, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now, did you know that there is no more sin in this world? Yes! See, uh, uh, Jesus Christ has taken away all our sins and that's it. Whosoever that goes to the law through Christ is no longer a sinner or can even commit any sin. See, let, 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 let me show you what you are yet to understand. See, my dear, sin is dead and we are saved by grace. So there is no room for any activities for sin because we are under the grace. And our own self-righteousness does not give us salvation. Neither do our own righteousness or sinful art can take away. 
You see, hey, the truth is, whatever we do with our body after salvation does not concern God. I'm telling you, it does not have anything to do with you no know, record or anything. You know, uh, I, I have a better reason, you know, which made me not to regret anything. <laughs> You see, this new revelation of yours is dangerous. I must tell you, and I can't just stand it anymore. See, you need to understand. Brother Sam, I pray God open your eyes to see that you're treading the path that is very dangerous to your life. I pray that happens to you before it becomes too late. <clears throat> For me, I think I have to leave now. See, you need to understand the scripture that is coming from the revelational point. You know, there's a scripture back. You're not getting it. Sweet things of this world has allowed me to walk away. Let me be very brief with you. Okay. Um, Stalula was here four days ago. Ah, Um, the same Stalula now, the sister court oh. on campus. Um, what did she come here for? Well, she... She came to make a confession of um, the sin she committed while on campus. I mean, she, they committed on campus. We see. I mean, we too. Calm down. I'll be very brief about it. Let me just go straight to the point. You see, she and um, the GC, they both fell into the sin of fornication. Uh, and it was about the same time yours happened, and yet they did not confess. Eh? Eh? <laughs> you see, first and foremost, I thank God that I have not gone to propose to that sister. I mean, Brandu, how would they do you expect me to, to marry such hypocrite? <laughs> Won't that sign ever end? I mean, to hell with them and their, and their confession! <laughs> Brandu, thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And that sister, Stala, I can never marry that sister. I mean, never. I'm out of here. Rabbi, Rabbi, uh -uh. calm down now. Please sit down. These are spiritual matters, and we must not allow our, our emotional sentiment to dissuade us. Rabbi, we must be careful of kind of sentiments here. If we must allow the Holy Spirit to lead us well, then let's, let's allow Him. So that we will know God's will. Brandu, what are you talking about? Kana sentiment or what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> Who is more Kana here? Bro Sam and Sister Lola or me? <laughs> Bro Sam and Sister Lola, they are more than Kana. They are wicked and very, very, very evil. <laughs> and, <laughs> hey, Bami, wait till Musa no go see for gates. Wonders. Wonders of the millennium. <laughs> and Brandy, you, you expect me to expect me to propose to that sister? Never! That will never happen. Call the I'm out of here. Except you help me, Lord. I cannot do it. Ah, Lord. What type of dilemma am I in? And why am I at the center of all this from the beginning to the end? Ah, you have laid a very heavy burden on me to carry. First, my own confusion is there. How will I marry a sister who had had sex with my intimate friend for three good times and became pregnant in the process and even committed murder by abortion? What if that is the only child you want to give her? So I will become childless. Hmm. Or what if her womb is damaged unknowingly in the course of her abortion? Who will I even know? Oh. Oh. My friend walked out on me for the first time in anger with a promise never to marry a sister like Lola. Rosa has embraced false doctrines and it's even boasting in his atrocities. Lord, what will I do? These burdens are too much for me.
hello ma yes i'm in the office okay okay i'll come i'll come thank you ma But I still cannot do it on my own Except you help me, Lord I cannot do it Ah, uh, good afternoon, man Oh, good afternoon, oh, Andrew yes. How is work? Well, it is well, man God bless you, sit down And how are you? Honestly, ma, I'm not fine. Oh. I'm not fine at all. What happened? It's a long story. I'm listening. Uh, okay. Let me start from my own side of the story. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the sister you asked me to pray about? Oh, sister Dami. She back on the campus, um, my very close friend, very intimate friend of mine. Um, and this sister, Sister Dami, both of them fell into the sin of fornication. And it went on and on for like three times. Unfortunately for them, the third one resulted into pregnancy. And the worst case, they aborted it. Ah. Oh. Mashi. Then what happened? My friend came to me. He came to confess to me. And I, I pray with him. Good enough. The sister also got convicted by God. And I encouraged the two of them to go and make their confessions known to the then GC, the GC of the fellowship, okay. and also to the sister coordinator, of which they did. They did, and <sighs> the GC single-handedly said that they should be excommunicated from the fellowship. Uh -uh. That's too much. Ah, there's so much. Since they came to confess by themselves, after they repented, ah, no. the worst should have been that they should be relieved of their assignments. Then give them opportunity to pray and fast so that they can get to their feet again. And get some few members, some mature people in the fellowship to monitor them. Hmm. Exactly what the rest of the ESCO suggested. But you see, the GC insisted that they must be excommunicated. Hmm. Uh, Were they able to cope? Well, they did. They oh. did. They did, and God really helped them. That's good. It's a sign that they are genuine believers. Thank God. Then, what about your own problem? What's your own problem? Ma, this same sister, mm. this same sister is the sister that the Lord is asking me to marry. And, and now I'm, I'm confused. I don't know how to do it. Mm. <laughs> My friend. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. 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 <laughs> now I understand why God said I should call for you. You see, earlier before you came in, I was studying some scriptures and then especially this particular one the first one is the book of acts okay chapter 11 
verse 7 to 9. Acts 11, 7 to 9. Mm. <sighs> Read it, let me hear. Oh, okay, man. And I, and I heard a voice saying to me, mm. Rise, Peter, kill and eat. For I said, Not so, Lord, mm. for nothing common or unclean has at any time entered my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, what God has cleansed, mm. you must not call common. Exactly. Yes, it is clear that the Lord is using this scripture to tell you to forget any kind of confusion about Sister Dan. Because God has cleansed her. Before God, she is a virgin. Wow. Accept the will of God for your life and marriage. She is clean and perfect. God, God, God. amazing, amazing. Like uh, this, this just settles it, you know. You know, it just settles it, ma. Ah, thank Praise you so God. much, ma. Thank I mean, this, this God. settled everything. Oh, there's glory. nothing to worry about again. Glory. And um, for the second matter too. Okay. Um, it's about my friend. You see, he also has this similar problem with mine. Mm -hmm. And, um, but you see this passage you just shared. I'm sure it's very, very much applicable to his matter too. So mm -hmm. I'll just go straight now mm -hmm. and then address him with this same passage. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it will be settled. Beautiful. <laughs> you see, the word of God is the solution to all problems. Yes. Yes. So as you are discussing it, pray together. And I believe the Lord will enlighten him as well. Amen. Amen. And all confusion will clear off. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a blessing. <laughs> uh, it's God. Thank you so much, ma. Thank, Thank you so God. much. Oh. Well, I, I should be on my way now, ma. Mm. Okay. Before you go, let's pray. Oh. Let's pray. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Second Timothy, second Timothy. Second Timothy. Okay. okay. Second Timothy 4. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom? Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, rebuke, reprove, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrines, but after their own lust shall they eat to themselves, teachers, having itching ears. Mm. And they shall turn away their hairs from the truth and shall be turned into fables. Wow. And they shall turn their hairs from the truth. Shall be turned into fables. Huh? Now I understand. So, but Sam has made himself a victim of false doctrines and these end time false teachings. Ah, Lord, please have mercy on Brosam. Have mercy, restore Brosam. Lord Jesus, restore Brosam. Let him find you, reveal yourself to him in the name of Jesus. Father, reveal yourself to Brosam. In the name of Jesus, Lord, reveal yourself to us. Hello? Um, please, uh, who am I speaking with? Oh, Sister Dami. Ah, uh ah. -uh. It's been a while, longest time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, it's 5 p.m. tomorrow, okay? Yes, 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 yes. 
Um, don't worry, I'll call you tomorrow and I'll let you know where we should meet. All right, all right. Take care. I'll call you. Wow. Tired. I'm honestly tired. This yeah. brother left me because of my past. He said he cannot condone it. Mm. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm weakened in my spirit. No way. I don't know. I don't know. I've become so fearful. I doubt if I can see a brother to marry me. I'm not sure. Sister Dami, you, you don't need to be anxious at all. You see, the Bible says in the book of Philippians 4 6, it says, be careful for nothing. Say, be anxious for nothing. But, you know, in all things, make your request known to God through what? Through thanksgiving, supplication, and prayers. So, let me ask you to what does the Bible say we should be careful for? Nothing. For nothing, right? Yeah. And then, what does it mean to be anxious for nothing? Not to be budging whatsoever and leave everything for God. And that settles it. Settles mm. it. So, mm. calm down. Mm. Calm down and let God sort you out. Mm. He that has started a good thing in your life is able to perfect it. Oh, thank you. Amen. You always have the right word for me. Oh, thank God. I cannot have had a better you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. thank God. Um, you see, it's, it's amazing how God plans his, you know, his work for his own children. Mm. All mm. things work for our good. You know, here you are with the body and then the Lord lifted it, right? Mm -hmm. And I also came with my own body. Oh, yeah. What is it? <sighs> Actually, the Lord is leading me to a particular sister. Ah, ah, finally. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank God. Ah, Thank ah. you so much. I'm very sure she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. That's an understatement. Mm. She's beautiful. Mm. Very beautiful. Uh, she's somewhere around. Oh! She's somewhere around. Wow, and I would love to meet her. Ah, uh, really? Oh, Jerry. Well, if you look within, you would definitely know her. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me help you, Sister Dani. You're the one I would love to spend the rest of my life with. I love you. I want you to marry me. No, no, uh, no, 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 it's why? not possible. Sister Dami, why? It, why? It's me, Dami Lola. Yes. And you, you deserve someone better than me. I'm too uh, dirty for you. Now, Sister Dami. See, listen to this. The Lord says you are not just better for me, but, but you're the best for me. Who am I to deserve someone better than you? Who am I? See, let me tell you what. Whatever the Lord used me for in the past, for you and for all other brethren around, it's it's the Lord walking through me. It wasn't me walking. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. <laughs> ah, Sister Dami, please. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. Sister Dami, Sister Dami, <laughs> I'm so serious about this. I, I really want you to spend the rest of your life with me. Will you marry me? Marry me. Yes, yes. Uh, yes? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Robayo, ah, what's up now? It's nice seeing you. Ah, where are you coming from? Please sit down. I must say, I'm sorry for the other day. Oh, that? No, 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 no problem. I, I understand. I understand. It's all right. So, uh, I'm here to tell you what I saw over the weekend. Oh. I must tell you that. Really? What happened? I went to Apata to visit a friend, and guess who I saw by Providence? Wait, let me guess. 
Sister Lola. Right? I beg, no spoil my this diary. So, who did you see now? Bro, Silas. Silas? Which Silas is that? Follow up coordinator. Wow, unbelievable. What a small world. Ah, what happened now? How did you guys get to meet? Uh, that's no problem. But I have to walk to the office before I can come back there. Boy, that's not a problem. Yeah, let me say around 3, 3, 30. I should be back. All right. You know what? Let me just call you back. Let me call you back. Bro, Silas, follow up code. Bro, Silas. Eh, hey. hey. What? Ah, ah. Bro, <laughs> what, what are you doing here? Hmm. Bro, I can't tell you. For what? I was the lead voice in your excommunication back on campus during our ESCO speech. What are you trying to say, Sita? This is not uh, overtaking. What they did three times? They even committed murder. They killed an innocent baby. Mm -hmm. Look, let's excommunicate them straight away. Oh, yes. I said all kind of unprintable things about you. But here I am in your shoes. I fell into the same sin of fornication. Oh. With a sister that I got engaged to after our graduation. Uh, uh. The funniest thing is that the sister got pregnant. Uh. And I suggested abortion because of she. <sighs> but the sister refused. She gave birth five days ago and I'm here to see her. Wow. Her house over there. wow, 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 wow. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry about this. But I, are you both married now? Not yet. We are not planning for this when it happens. So, uh, we have agreed that she'll be with her parents until I'm ready to take her with me. Oh. But you'll see my life. Oh. I'm not a father without marriage. Oh. It is well. It's okay, oh Brussels. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It is well. You see, uh, I've thrown all that back behind me a long time ago. Mm. Truly, yes, I was at fourth then. But I faced the consequences of my action, of my foolishness. But if God can see me through those times, I believe he'll also see you this trying time. It's all right, my brother. No. So sad. Ah. Oh my God, that's quite pathetic. This world is a small world, you know. Really small world. Okay. I just pray that the Lord will um, help the brother and the sister too, during this their trying period. Amen, amen, amen. It is well. You know, I was going to come visit you for a very important discussion. Oh, which is? Uh, about sister, the last case, of course. Here we come again. Has this sister bribed you or something? Oh, by your, for your information. I proposed to Sister Dami last weekend. Ah, weekend. Uh, uh. <laughs> you know, Wow. You know, she called, like you said, and then we agreed to meet somewhere. Okay. And so we met, and actually, she explained all, all this and all that she has been going through mm. to me. We spoke, I encouraged her. And right there, I just decided to summon courage to chip in my proposal <laughs> officially. Uh, engaged uh, uh, Mr. Uh, as we speak. <laughs> Man of God. <laughs> you know, you got me again. Well, uh, uh. Well. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for you. You know, you've not just been a brother to me. You've been a father. You know, my Man. mentor. Thank you for everything. You know, from the beginning till now, You've been there for me. Well. I really appreciate it. I know I cannot pay you, but well. only God will reward you. Let's thank you. Thank you. I really oh. appreciate it. All glory to God. All glory to God. All glory to God. And I also want to thank you too for honoring Christ in my life. God, God. Let's mm. thank you. Thank you so much. Sister Lola. Mm. You see, uh, first let me just apologize for coming late. You know, I didn't mean to keep you late. 
I was very afraid you will reject me because of my past. Mm. But when my friend spoke sense to my head, I decided I would come. Well, it's it's all right. I I also have my past, and um, I already confessed to your friend and sister Dambi, and I'm very sure I would have said something. Sure. To you. Or did he not? <laughs> well, if I said no, I lied. You know, you actually told me everything. When you even threw the bomb about what happened between you and Bro Sam, I was mad. Look, Sister Lola is not a hypocrite. Mm. Honestly, mm. do you know that it was Bro Sam all the while? At several occasions, this sister tried to confess. But Bro Sam has been threatening her. Uh -uh. Even threatened to kill her. Ah, yeah. That's not possible. Oh. She has gone to a pastor to confess and the pastor already helped her through all the restoration process. She went to Sister Dami to confess. She even came to me to confess. So what, what else do you want her to do? Oh, you don't mean all this. Lord, I'm sorry. You know, I really misjudged this sister. You did. You did. You did actually. And you know yourself that it took you so long before you even confessed to your soul, even not for the encounter you had. Do you think it's, it's that easy to do? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. You see? And now, let me, let me talk you. Do you know that that sister is more righteous than you are? <laughs> Never call what God has cleansed unclean, my brother. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, but you know, uh, you explained to me what you went through and then the Lord broke me down and I decided I would come. Well, let's just thank God. Um, the devil is ashamed already. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. just keep thanking God. Yeah, and um, thank you so much for accepting the leading of the Lord. Thank like, God. The Holy Spirit kept on telling me that you will come and here you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Yeah. <laughs>